how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel here i've got the pixel 9 pro xl which is currently running on the latest android 16 qpr1 with material 3 expressive you guys won't believe i didn't had the 9 pro xl with me and just to experience and share my thoughts on this new expressive design language i went ahead and bought one it's gonna be a super interesting video where I'll show you all the new features and design changes of the Pixel UI. Also if you love watching such awesome content then don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel it would mean a lot to me. With that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys first let's start off with some lock screen changes and customization. So in a long press hit on the customize lock screen tab and go into customization. The first thing you're gonna notice here is this revamped interface which I think looks a lot cleaner compared to Android 15 and not only that they've added many subtle animations throughout the UI which definitely makes the overall experience a lot better. Guys I'm planning to make a separate video comparing the animations and smoothness between the Pixel and One UI so stay tuned for that. Now coming back to the lock screen, we've got this all new layout where you can select different clock styles to customize your lock screen and I think this is actually much better compared to the previous version. Here you can quickly preview all different clocks and below you get the option to change the color and size as well. Then there is a separate page where you can manage how the notifications appear on the lock screen. You can change the layout, hide notifications and even disable the sensitive content appearing on the lock screen. These are some minor changes but what's more exciting here is when you go to wallpapers, not only do we have this beautiful sliding animation but if you click on more, from here if you select and apply any picture on your phone, below you get this brand new effects option and when you select that, here you can add different shapes and effects to the wallpaper. Guys I'm loving all these little animations they have added in Android 16. Not only can you add different shapes but you can also change the background color depending on the wallpaper and adjust the saturation level too. Then we have also got the weather section where you can apply different effects to your wallpaper. We have rain, snow, fog and sun. Now whenever you unlock your phone, you will have that live wallpaper effect for a while. Similarly when you apply any shape to the wallpaper, the transition from the lock screen to your home screen looks really really cool. So these are some new customization features that Google has added to the lock screen. Now moving on to the home screen, things might look exactly the same at first but there are a couple of minor tweaks they have done. First, the utter glance widget has gotten a bit smaller. So now you actually have more space and you get one extra row to place your app icons and widgets. Not only this, they've also reduced the gap between each row and now it actually looks much better compared to Android 15. You can also add even more applications to your home screen for easier access. Next, when I open the quick settings panel, this is by far my favorite part of Android 16 and let me tell you why. First we get this beautiful background blur which was missing from a long time on Pixel UI. We just had a solid dark background which was kind of boring to me. Even when you apply light theme on your phone, it doesn't change the background color so that was kind of annoying. Now I am really glad we have this blur in the background. And we get this same blur when we open the app drawer and even when you open the recent applications, there is this blur in the background which is something that I absolutely love to see on a Pixel device. I usually like to see more and more blur implemented throughout the UI instead of just having that boring solid color in the background. So I think they have done a great job removing those solid backgrounds and adding blur all across makes everything looks really really good. Now coming back to the quick panel, there are quite a few things they have changed here. First we get this all new brightness slider which you may or may not like but I am completely fine with it. You also get this same squarish shaped slider even when you open the volume panel as well. So this is something which is definitely subjective but trust me you will get used to these changes quite easily. Not only that, when you tap on any toggle, you get this nice little jiggle effect that changes the shape from rounded to square. So when the toggle is off, it will have a rounded design but when you tap and enable any of these toggle, it changes the shape immediately. So this is something again really unique. Then if I click on this pencil icon, we now get this all new edit layout where we can easily add toggles to the quick settings by simply tapping on it instead of holding and dragging to the control center. What's more exciting here is now we can actually change the shape of these tiles individually to fit in more shortcuts for quicker access. So you can completely change and customize the control center as per your requirement. 
Guys, we also get this new redesigned status bar at the top that highly resembles the iOS design language, but it also matches the overall aesthetics and the design of Pixel UI. So I don't mind even if they are copying something from iOS or other skins, unless or until it looks good and matches the aesthetics. Next, if I open the app drawer, it definitely looks more modern and clean thanks to the background blur. This definitely makes the icon pop on your phone screen. And one more thing they did different and unique is that the app drawer opens like a window with the status bar on the top and it doesn't go full screen like some other Android skins. If I go into settings page, here you can see we've got more colorful icons that again looks really really good, especially when you're using light mode on your phone. There is another small change I've noticed when you switch off any toggle in the settings page. We have this very little X symbol showing that the toggle is off. So all these small things and visual changes definitely tempting me to use the 9 Pro XL as my primary phone for at least a couple of weeks. I absolutely love all the changes they have made with Android 16 and I really like all the fun elements they implemented throughout the UI which makes it a lot more interactive. Now finally let's talk about animations. This is where people should understand that animations are not just about opening and closing applications. As you can see when I open and close applications, you might think it doesn't look good at all and I completely agree that when I open and close apps simultaneously, it doesn't feel as fluid as some other Chinese skins and that is because we do not get parallel animations on Pixel UI. But apart from that, there are many beautiful animations across the UI which gives you an amazing overall feel. Now let me quickly show you the animations. Guys, you get a jiggle bouncy effect in many places which I absolutely love. This definitely makes your experience a lot more fun and interactive. I'll also be comparing these animations with One UI and other Android skins so stay tuned for that. With that said, that's pretty much it for this video. This was my first impression and review about the all new Android 16. I honestly love all the changes that Google has made with this massive update and now the Pixel UI is definitely right there on my list of top 3 favorite Android skins. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.